I'm Jimmy. I'm a creative director, and I give OBS a five-star rating. For more information, click the link below. Before finding OBS, uh, we were using various platforms for getting together and meeting people. Uh, you probably came to know these platforms when uh, the pandemic hit, uh, and they were great, but they're very limited in um, how you can mix in other participants in the video quality. Uh, finding OBS allowed us to um, take our broadcasts from a typical virtual meeting uh, and elevate it to almost like a game show or uh, a morning show type of format with uh, bringing in different assets, uh, video assets, lower thirds. Um, it just, it totally changed uh, the game for us. and. It's free. So I chose OBS Studio uh, one. It's free, so it's open source. Um, so you don't. It doesn't cost you anything to use it. And if you uh, start digging down into some of these other uh, pieces of software that you can buy or get a subscription for, OBS is at the base of what they're doing, and they're just putting skins on top of their product to make it look uh, a little nicer um, and uh, so that was one it's it sort of uh, OBS is, is a standard that's out there for a lot of people who are doing broadcast work uh, it has an extraordinary amount of functionality um, it, it right out of the box it does have a learning curve uh, but there's so many YouTube videos out there that um, it's like your own private university but um, you can you can chroma key, you can uh, bring in, build scenes where you can just, at a touch of a button, a whole bunch of different things can happen. Uh, uh, for example, I could put myself as a little circle at the bottom of the screen, and with one button that can enlarge into a full shot of me, and then have uh, some of the other materials that I'm presenting to a crowd uh, take up a different part of the screen. So it, it gives you a broadcast studio um, in in this small package and there's really it's limited only to what you're willing to learn so OBS studio is super complex um, it can do just about anything you need it to do so it does have a pretty steep learning curve um, you you're not going to open it up and uh, you know make a movie. There's no built-in trailers. You know it, it's not iMovie or some of these other um, uh, uh, pieces of software that have everything ready to go and you just drop in assets. It's it's raw and open-ended, so you do have to devote some time to learning uh, what it can do. Um, you you have to learn. The, the, the terminology for what each part of your screen is and what it does and why it's there. Uh, so it, you're not gonna hit the ground running with this piece of software, but you know, spending just a couple of hours, you can get something out. And something, you can put a product out onto, uh, a, a, into broadcast within a couple of hours that looks pretty good. Um, and then you'll get hooked and you'll want to learn more so that you can up it and do even uh, more fantastic things with this, this wonderful piece of software. The biggest recommendation I could give if you're thinking about OBS is just do it. Download it uh, and, then, and then dive in. I mean, it's sort of like when you go to the pool and you're afraid of the shock of that cold water, um, and so you don't jump in. But once you jump in, you realize it's you know about 15 seconds of being cold, and then you get used to it. And that's OBS. It's it's gonna be a shock at first with all the stuff we have to learn. But once you dive in, you will realize that the water's not so bad. Uh, it, it's not so hard, and there is no end to the amount of help that's already out there also for free. I mean, there's, you could take months and months worth of free classes on YouTube uh, and, and really get anything you want done uh, for free just by watching the YouTube videos. So um, I would suggest find the, the people on YouTube that you like the best 
uh, in regard to OBS and, and just start your lessons.